Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 16th of October 1846, the first well publicised public demonstration of inhaled ether anaesthesia was given at the Massachusetts General Hospital. Herbal remedies have been used for pain relief and, in extreme cases, to bring about unconsciousness since antiquity. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that scientific developments directly impacted modern general anaesthetic techniques. In the 18th century, Joseph Priestley's discovery of nitrous oxide led to research by scientist Humphrey Davy that identified the gas's analgesic effects and its potential for use in surgery. Known colloquially as laughing gas, nitrous oxide was later adopted by American dentist Horace Wells in order to help him perform painless tooth extractions. However, a public demonstration of the technique at the Massachusetts General Hospital went horribly wrong and the patient cried out in pain. Around the same time as nitrous oxide was being employed as an analgesic, experiments were taking place with diethyl ether. William T.G. Morton had worked as a dentist in Wells Surgery and news of his painless work on music teacher Eben Frost convinced Boston surgeon Henry Jacob Bigelow to invite him to demonstrate ether as a surgical anaesthetic. The demonstration took place in the amphitheatre of the Massachusetts General Hospital, the same place as Wells' failed demonstration just a few months earlier. After Morton administered the ether to patient Edward Abbott, surgeon John Collins Warren removed a tumour from the patient's neck. On regaining consciousness, Abbott stated that it felt only as if his neck had been scratched. News of the successful demonstration spread fast, and doctors across the world soon began to adopt similar anaesthetic techniques. The amphitheatre was subsequently named the Ether Dome. 